Hey, Dr. Jeff LaCour with Compasio Medical Education. So how would I have removed this earform body? I would have used the alligator forceps through an operative otoscope. And what I'm trying to do at Compasio Medical is I'm trying to get you all away from ear irrigation. Because as ENTs, we see the complications of ear irrigation like otitis externa, tympanic membrane perforations, and yes, even mastoiditis, okay? Getting the right instruments that we teach you in our ENT course is very simple and takes only a few months to get to be adept at doing this, okay? So what are the contraindications of ear irrigation? The first is a hole in the eardrum or someone that has ear tubes. The second, history of vertigo. If you irrigate out that ear, you can cause a caloric response and get violent vertigo. The third, is a history of middle ear surgery. Anyone who had cholesteatoma surgery, stapy surgery, I wouldn't even irrigate out someone who had a tympanic membrane perforation closure, okay? You can cause a traumatic uh, tympanic, you can cause a perforation. And then the last, please don't ever irrigate out someone that has active otitis externa. You will make them worse, okay? So let's take a look at this patient. So what I did was I went ahead and I took the alligator forceps, okay? The, the reason I wanted to highlight this case is that I had no idea, nor did this patient have any idea, that he had an 85% tympanic membrane perforation. So watch this. After we grab it one more time, what you'll see is all of this right here, all of this is a hole. This is the only normal part of the TM right here, but all of that is a hole. So can you imagine what would have happened if we had irrigated that out? We would have caused a serious infection, okay? So please check us out at CompassioMedical.com where you can learn these skills, okay? For the month of November, I've got coupons that, are, that, are, that will be posted for 25% off for PAs and NPs. Thank you very much.